In today's video, I'm going to show you the quickest way to input new ideas into your Notion database. If you have an iPhone 8 or higher with iOS 14 installed on it, then you'll be able to do this. So this automation I'm going to show you today allows you to double tap on the back of your iPhone like so. And from there, it's listening to what I'm saying. And what it's going to do is it's just going to give this a title and add it to Notion. So as I speak, it picks up what I'm saying, then it sends it off. And as you can see, it creates a page in my Notion database. So today, if you stick around until the end of the video, you'll see how to go from double tapping the back of your iPhone to an idea in your Notion database in an instant. And I'm even going to show you how to automate some of those fields and fill out the page in your database using ChatGPT. If you want more AI insights and you want to get into a community that I'm spending most of my time in these days, because let's face it, AI is completely taking over the digital workforce, then I highly recommend joining AI Foundations. First things first, I want to give credit where credit is due. Noah from the AI Foundations community made a video sharing how he translated our Airtable automation into a Notion automation so that you can capture your notes with Siri. Here, Noah provided a loom and some bonus tips at the end for how to integrate Siri with Notion. Since I know many of you here on my YouTube channel enjoy my Notion content, I wanted to make a video about this as well. If you're interested in getting involved with our community, I'm going to be leaving a link below this video. We're going to teach you the four pillars of generative AI. We're going to teach you all about automations and agents. And if you join this community, you're going to have a broad scope idea of how to implement AI in the workforce or by starting your own business. Description, top pinned comment, there's going to be a link down there, just check it out. Step one for building this automation is to create a Notion database. So I'm just going to hit create a page and here we can type out the name of it. My main page is called Siri Capture, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to call it Tutorial Capture. And we're going to add a table by clicking this button down in the bottom center. From here, I'm just going to click out of this new table section and we're just going to give it a name. That's fine how it is right there. And then we're also going to enter in created time. We're going to add created time property and we'll add another property for status. This is just the select property though in this case, and we'll just call it status. It's not the one that's named status, it's just a regular select property. Then we're gonna go ahead and add a page and I'm going to enter a status for this page of unprocessed. So now when we have a new note entered into our database, it'll say unprocessed out of the gate. And to get this to work so that you can make sure that you're actually going in here and you're reviewing your ideas, you can click on this drop down on the new button, hit new template, and set the status to unprocessed. Leave the new page blank there and click away. Now go back in and we're going to set that new page as the default page. Just hit set as default and then for all views. Now when we add a new page, it's going to be unprocessed by default so that you can come in here and click processed once you've completed that or once you've reviewed that note. I'm gonna delete the pages out of this database and now it's pretty much ready to go. Next, you're gonna to wanna to head over to your iPhone and you're going to need three apps. So you're gonna need the Shortcuts app, you're going to need the ChatGPT app, and you're going to need the Notion app. So go ahead and download these apps and then you should be able to do this automation. I do have a ChatGPT Pro account, but I'm not sure if it's required to do this automation. So let me know in the comments below. Once you have these apps and you're all signed in, you're gonna go to the Shortcuts app. This is an app that allows you to set up all kinds of different automations between the different apps on your iPhone. The ChatGPT step is somewhat optional. You only really need ChatGPT if you wanna do AI automations in the background with the text that you add to ChatGPT. Based on the words that you say to your phone when you trigger this automation. Before we do this, let me show you how this automation works. So I'll trigger this shortcut. Hey there, I'm just recording a quick example for my video. So go ahead and enter this into the database for me. All right, so it's going to do that step. It's gonna send it off to ChatGPT and it's going to generate a title for me. So this one is going into my uh, Siri capture database and it's opening it for me right here. The text that I uh, basically dictated into my phone is available in page right there. And then it generated this title using ChatGPT. 
Now I'm gonna head back to the Shortcuts app and I'm gonna show you how you can build this automation. So just hit the plus button in the upper right-hand corner of your phone. And now we're just going to start creating our shortcut. The first step is to type into the search action bar, dictate, and you should see dictate text. I'm going to click on it. And then we're going to open up the settings for that. And the key setting that you want to alter potentially is the stop listening. So if you click into stop listening, there's some things that you can do to make it stop uh, listening to you talking basically when you're implementing this. For me, I just stop after a pause. You can stop after a short pause or you can stop on tap if you like to kind of think through something as you're saying it. I like the after pause, but you can choose when to trigger the stopping point for the text that you're speaking into your phone. So I'll keep it on after pause. I'll close dictate text. And it's actually smart to give this a name so that we know what it is. So I'll click on that top dictate text right there. And I'm just going to rename this. I'm going to call it notion input. You can name it whatever you want here. And if you want to, you can also change the icon. You can change the color of the icon and you can change the symbol of it. So I'll just go with a microphone for this one and I'm gonna hit done. And the next action that we wanna search for is the chat GPT action. So I'm just going to type in here, chat GPT, and you can select your model next. I'm gonna go with GPT 40 mini. Now for the message, you're just going to click into the message area and you're just going to give it the prompt that you want it to follow. So I want it to generate a title for me that it can then add to the Notion page title. So I'm going to say generate a title that is 40 characters or less for the following text and only output the title. You don't want it outputting anything else because sometimes ChatGPT will say, okay, here's your title. And then it'll put it in like quotes or something like that. In this case, we're just going to give it the explicit instructions to only output the title. And then I'm just going to say, here's the text and I'll put a colon and then space. And what you wanna click here is the dictated text variable. So this is just gonna pull in the dictated text that you speak into your phone, and it's going to add that to the prompt every single time. So I'll click dictated text, and now it's just going to automatically do this prompt for me every time I trigger this automation. Now let's go ahead and hit done. And the next thing you're gonna to wanna to search for is Notion. So type in Notion and you're going to click create document. Now there's one more thing we have to do with the ask chat GPT uh, before we move on to this. And that is just to hit that drop down arrow next to the, and I turn all of these off. I don't want it to start a new chat, continue a chat or show when it's run. I just want it to all happen in the background so that I don't even have to think about the title. This is just part of the automation and it just takes an extra step out of this or an extra click out of this. Then you're going to click on the title variable for your notion page and you're going to click on ask chat GPT and then you're going to click on the body you're going to click on the dictated text. And then where it says in database, I'm going to click on the database and I'm going to connect my database that I just created over a notion called tutorial capture. The Siri capture here is just from my other automation that I used to demo this. So I'm gonna click on tutorial capture. That's the one we just created. And now you're going to click the drop down on the notion one here and just make sure that you have your account set. So I'll set my account and I'm also gonna set my workspace. Perfect, now I'm going to hit done. And now this automation is complete. The next thing that you wanna set up is how you trigger the automation. This can be a double or triple tap on the back of your phone. It can be clicking the side button X number of times. So you can like triple tap it and it'll actually trigger this automation or you can just set it up with a keyword with Siri. So you can be like, hey Siri, and then you can just say the keyword that you wanna to say to trigger this automation. Like I have an idea or send this to Notion, whatever you want it to be. To set up this trigger, we're going to head over to our settings and we're gonna search at the top for back and then you should see back tap pop up. So click on back tap. And now you can set up the double tap and triple tap automations. So for me, I'm just gonna to go to double tap and then I'll scroll down to my shortcuts. So it's all the way at the bottom, you'll see shortcuts. 
and I'm just going to click on the one that says Notion input. That's the one that I just created. And once you see that check mark there, it should be ready to go. Now I'm going to close my settings, close shortcuts, and we'll close Notion. And let's give this a try. So to trigger this, all you have to do is double tap on the back of your iPhone, and then it will actually trigger. So I'm just going to double tap. Hey, I have an idea. I want to make a video about how to implement a Siri double tap into an automation that sends a new page to Notion. And it's working in the background. And boom, it's added that page to my Notion database. All right, I lied. It didn't add the page to my Notion database. For some reason, in the shortcut, the in database got removed. So you'll have to go back in there and set it to tutorial capture. I think it's because I did this in the wrong order when I was adding my account and workspace, but that should be an easy fix. Just change the database again uh, in that variable there to tutorial capture or whatever the name of your database is. Now let's go ahead and try this again. So I have an idea that I want to create more videos on N8N, which is an application that allows people to create agentic workflows. So it's sending it off, giving it a title, and now it's added it to my database. All right, I'm going to give you a live example showing you how quick this gets added to the database. So double tap. Okay, this is another test, and I just want to uh, basically give it a title and make it simple. So just make a title based on this transcript of text here. Okay. It's processing, processing, loading, and boom, it's already added. As you can see, for whatever reason, this isn't automatically setting it to status. I have set this as the uh, page variable, so it should be adding it. But if you're getting that issue, then you can just filter it based on an empty status. And you can just say, like, if the status is empty, then show it. And then you can have a table right here for unprocessed. And then we can create another new table and we can call it uh, processed. And then for the unprocessed table, we can also add another filter. So if it's empty, then we can go advanced filter and we can say, or status is unprocessed. So now if it's an empty status or if it's not processed yet, it will show up here. And if it's processed, it's going to show up here. If we change the filter, to status and we make it is processed. So now we can keep these things nice and organized and we can make sure that our ideas are in the right place. Let's try this once more just to show you the functionality of this. Hey there, just another test. Sending it off and watch the database as it adds. All right, just another test, boom, it's right there. It's in unprocessed. And if we change it to processed now because we go in here and we actually read what we wrote or what we said, in other words, uh, we can just mark these as processed once we go through our idea again, and then we can see them in the processed database. This is perfect if you're the type of person that comes up with random ideas when you're in the car or you're in the shower and you need a way to trigger a quick idea capture. If you wanna see more ways to capture your data and put it into a Notion database, I've curated a playlist where I talk about quick capture. This is a whole paradigm that you need to have if you wanna have your second brain in Notion and if you wanna be able to capture everything in your life in a simple and seamless way. And remember, if you're interested in AI and automation and agents, then I highly, highly recommend you join AI Foundations using the link below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe for more of this content, and we'll see you in the next one.